The UX design process is similar to the design thinking process and consists of five basic stages namely, empathize, define, ideate, prototype, and test. Let's discuss the first three phases in the UX design process, empathize, define, and ideate. Before discussing the UX design process, let's clarify who a user, end user, and what user experience is. A user can be any person who uses a product. An end user is a specific audience the design is made for. User experience is what the person or user feels when interacting with the product. Stage 1, Empathize. The user experience design process helps to understand the what, why, and how of using a product. Empathy means the ability to understand someone's emotions or feelings. An empathy map can be drawn to easily understand the needs of users and create a shared idea of the types of users. It consists of four quadrants referring to what the user said, did, thought, and felt. As an example, let's say I want to design an app to learn the German language. This is a sample empathy map created for a user called Leah. She is currently learning the German language by reading German alphabet books. There can be different ways in which we can empathize with a user such as 1. Asking a lot of questions 2. Observing and listening actively 3. Receiving feedback from users 4. Having an open mind 5. Joining online communities Stage 2. Define the user experience design process helps to make realistic representations of the key target audience. Define a problem statement by analyzing and organizing research information obtained from the users. After identifying the user pain points we create user personas that depict fictional users whose goals and characteristics represent a larger group of users. This can guide when brainstorming ideas for the expected product. Apart from user personas, a user story could be created which is a one-sentence story told from the persona's point of view which can be written in the format as a persona, who, I want to, what, so that, why. We can also define problem statements according to the 5 W and H method, who, what, when, where, why, and how. Who is experiencing the problem? What pain points will be solved? When does the problem occur? Why is the problem important? Where is the user when the product is been used? How will the users reach their goals by using the product? Stage 3, Ideate. The user experience design process helps to come up with problems and solutions by brainstorming various ideas through creative activities. Ideate new solutions by brainstorming alternative ways of viewing the problem. User Journey Map is a diagram that represents the steps taken by the user to complete a specific task and achieve the required goal. The key components of a user journey map are the user, goal, actions, emotions, and opportunities. User flow is a pathway taken by a user to complete a task from start to end when interacting with a product. When drawing user flow diagrams it is important to determine the key components in a user flow diagram. To visually describe and explore a user's experience with a product, a storyboard could be drawn which communicates through images in a series of panels. The key components of a storyboard are the scenario, image visuals, and captions.